What's up everybody and welcome to episode 1 of my NHL Be A Pro series. You guys just saw the creation. We're going to be going into the WHL playing for the Vancouver Giants. As you can see the average age is 18 and we got 25 players. We're 17 year old. This is our draft year to get into the NHL. There's the stats. Game settings, just got to go into these to show we are on superstar difficulty. That is the hardest difficulty level. And everything else will stay the same. Offline, be a pro, dynamic, low. And we do have the on-ice adaptive skill trainer on. So it will show the passing lanes and all of that. Got Seattle, Thunder, the Seattle Thunderbirds for our first game. And here, talking, showing good year. It's our draft year, eligible for the NHL entry draft. They're keeping an eye on us, so we have to show our best of our abilities. So every nine games, they'll be reviewing our performance. So what I think I'll do for the minors anyway is put up a game, at the at every ninth game, to show what they have done for me adjustment-wise to see if they're keeping me on the first line or dropping us down to the second line, third, or whatever. So we're playing home to start it off against Seattle, getting set up, loading up into this game here. See this 20-minute period, superstar skill, and on ice tra adapter trainer is on. Everybody's got a clean slate to start this new se season off, playing in the Pacific Coliseum in Vancouver. And the very first face-off, we will win this one back. Great win there, going up the wing, breaking and passing it up. No, gets broken up, sending it down. Seattle's breaking into the zone, pass across, bringing it deep in, gets body checked. We're breaking up along the boards. Great pass by our defenseman, heading up along, and we get cracked right there. Absolutely unloaded on, and we get hammered again twice in a matter of two seconds. We get plastered onto the ice in a row, and they're breaking in. Great save by our goalie there. High blocker side shot. We've got to cover the middle, and we leave our man open. Another great two saves, and a third one by our goalie, putting our team on his back there to start the game off in the first 30 seconds. Little windmill deep, get poke checked as we lose the puck, heading off for a change down. That will conclude our first shift of the new season. Simming now, nothing else happened in this period, so the first period is over. A 0-0 tie to start this game off. Seeing what our coaches have to say, a C-plus overall, offense C-plus, defense and team play all C-pluses. We had 18 shots in the period, and the Tebers only had 11. Got our first shift or second shift coming up. 7:55 left in the second period. Center's coming off to change. We're hopping over the boards. A terrible change by the centerman, and they're already breaking into the zone. Luckily, we get back in time. Our defenseman gets stripped of the puck. Seattle keeps it in. They're getting a back in deep shot on net, and they score the first goal of the game. Going up one to nothing on the tic-tac-toe play. Not in a wire home. Billboard saying clap as the opposing team scored. Down one nothing. Grop got his first goal of the year, and we lose that face off. They're breaking in yet again, bringing it down the wing, getting past the defenseman, curling back up the boards, cross middle, back up to the point. Our winger had it for a sec. Back down low, up down to the half boards. Down low, wheeling in front. They're just moving the puck around, and we can do nothing to stop it. Great two saves there. By our goalie, Lee, pinned against the boards. Now we have a chance to break out, passing it up to the winger, up to the right wing, into the zone. Drop pass back. We're going to take a shot and miss the net. Highs, we had a huge opportunity for a slap shot in the slot, wheeling up around the point now, curling back across, getting another shot. It gets blocked, and now we do go off for a change with 16.55 left. Now down 11.41. Taking the face off in our own zone here. Looking to win this one to take away a scoring opportunity. And we do that back to the defenseman. But the other team picks it up. And they're getting back in front of the net. Great poke check there. Up to the winger. Back to me at the center. Going down the middle. Taking the shot. And a great toe save by the T-Birds goalie. Got it back in the corner now. Wheeling in front. Gonna be getting it back to the point, across to the winger, back to me, slap shot, goal! Our first goal of the season, sniping the top left corner, a beauty shot there, tying this game back up, 1-1 one one with 11-18 remaining in the periods. We're gonna get some highlights of that, James Adams, assisted by Jay Hoogan, I uh, can't pronounce that last name, it's a great pass there, slap shot, top corner, the goalie did not have a chance at that one. As that's a snipe for our first goal of the year. Tying up 1-1 as the home crowd goes insane there. And now we are up 
2-1 to one with a minute 30 remaining. And we're getting back on the ice here oh, with 3.44. My bad. Winning the draw back. This time our winger picks up, gets up to the boards, and dangles through the legs. Gets past one man. Now one-on-one -on -one with the D. Windmill outside. We get bumped. Pass it in front to the man, and he buries it. Now up 3-1. to one. What an individual effort by us, James Adams. And then passing that one across for the easy tap-in goal by the winger. And that one will cause some great highlights as Jackson Hook gets his first goal of the year. And we tally our second point in the opening night as the goalie had no chance. A nice cross-crease pass. Tried to stretch the pad out, but it just gets wrapped around his pad, giving us a 3-1 to one lead, which will bring us with 24 seconds left in the period getting on hoping to get another goal another face off on the left side in our zone gonna be we've done not bad on face offs there and we win another one again this sometime the centerman picks it up and they go tic tac toe themselves scoring with 20 seconds left to bring them down within one now three to two as Lee could not stop that one as somehow we won the draw the opposing team centerman picks it up in the corner up to the point and no chance there as that is a nice shot right past the blocker in and the game's going three to two into the second intermission with one period left to play a disappointing end to that period looking to take a two goal lead into the intermission but instead it's only one goal our offense is an a minus defense c plus team plays an a minus as well and here are the stats time on attack is pretty much even and we have not been on the pen penalty kill yet three power plays but have not scored and there's another goal up four to two and now we're getting on for the power play Bass is all the way back to us. I call for that one there. Probably not the smartest decision, but we break it anyway. Great toe drag. We do get stripped, however. They're dumping it down into our zone to kill more time on the clock. Ringing it around. I do not know what our D-man is there. Up to the point. Back down, and he shoots and scores. Short-handed goal. A terrible, unadvised play by our defense. And they're ringing it around the boards. Rushing with the puck on a power play. They're just coming in to keep us in the zone. And you decide to ring it around, giving it right back to Seattle. And they're able to score a boneheaded play there, putting us down, putting us up 4-3 to three anyway. With 2.54 remaining, they win the draw back to their D-man. Getting it back in, and we lose our man, and they score again. Tying this one up, coming back from two goals down. Tied up with 2.48 remaining as we lost our man in the slot there. Causing that to happen as that's Alexander True's second goal of the game. There we are. We missed our man there as he's able to sneak it down low for the shot right at the goal line past our goalie's glove. So we'll be heading into overtime as it goes into a 4-4 tie. Completely disappointing end to that period. Being on, we, we've been on for three goals scored by Seattle. Absolutely unacceptable. And after our shift ended, Seattle will score in overtime with a minute 44 remaining. Not the way we want to start off the season. And here it shows I like this new feature this year as you do not upgrade yourself. The stats get upgraded based on how you play as our shooting. Everything went up except for our senses which went down minus 61 XP to discipline. Everything else did get a boost. So not a bad game overall, a B plus rating, offense A minus, defense C plus, and team play an A minus. We do get one point in opening night. We were looking to come away with two there as we had a two goal lead heading into, not heading into the third, but with very little time left. So we're going to be upgrading the face off after the performance. I was not happy with that. But so yeah, I'll be uploading every ninth game. I'll let you know what has happened stat wise, where I am projected my point total compared so i'll show you the leaderboard for points hopefully to be right up top there and then we'll get my evaluation every ninth game because you know the miners aren't that fun to watch so i hope you guys enjoyed